Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Plan Tip Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Classification Systems, Kingdom Plan Tip, Algae, Bryophytes, Teratophytes, Gymnosperms, Angiosperms, and Plant Life Cycles and Alternation of Generations. So what are we going to study in planting? When we were talking uh, about the biological classification in the previous lesson, we talked about the Whittaker's Five Kingdom classification, wherein we talked about the five different kingdoms into which all variety of living organisms are classified. And those kingdoms were Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. So we covered the first three kingdoms in our previous lesson. So we will dedicate this lesson on kingdom plantae or the plant kingdom. So as the name says plant. So here we are going to talk about the wide variety of plants which exist on this earth. Starting from the flowering plants which you have in your house, for example, a rose plants or sunflower or the big trees which you see in the grounds and parks or the trees which you see in the hilly areas or the aquatic plants, grasses. So there are actually a lot of variety which is seen in this kingdom and that is why uh, you see this kingdom is going to be so huge that we have dedicated one complete lesson to this kingdom because the variety is really huge. So we need, we will see that there was a need to subclassify this plant kingdom. So gradually as we go ahead, we will talk about each and every detail of it. So first let us look at the very basic characteristics of the plant kingdom. So first of all, we should know that how or what are the, those specific things which actually distinguishes organisms which fall in the plant kingdom than any other kingdom. So how is plant kingdom different from Monera, Protista, Fungi or Animalia? So some of the very basic characteristics of plant kingdom. The first is eukaryotes, okay, that is they have specific membrane bound cell organelles and distinct nucleus. Like we all know what are eukaryotes by now, right? For example, in case of Monera kingdom, where we were talking about bacteria, they were all prokaryotes. Why? Because there are no distinct cell organelles present inside a cell. When I say cell organelles, I am talking about the different organelles which are present inside a cell, like mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, ribosomes, etc., etc. So here we have, for eukaryotes, we have distinct organelles and each organelle has its own membrane. And there is a distinct nucleus also present in them. So they are eukaryotes. They are multicellular, that is they are made up of many cells. Autotrophic, one of the very, very important characteristic of this kingdom. That is auto, that means self. So they can prepare their own food and the process by which they prepare their own food is known as photosynthesis. So I'm sure that you all are familiar with what is photosynthesis. Now, what is photosynthesis? Photo means light. That means the organisms under this kingdom, they have this special characteristic that they can prepare their own food in presence of light with the help of a pigment called chlorophyll which is present in them. Well, we, will, we are not going to discuss about the detail of photosynthesis right now. What I'm trying to say here is they can prepare their own food so that not only helps the organisms under plant kingdom, it also helps all other organisms. Because when you actually look at it, all other organisms who cannot prepare their own food, they depend on these plants for their food. So being autotrophic, they not only help themselves, that is they not only provide nutrition to themselves, but also provide nutrition to all other organisms. They are immobile. Have you ever seen one plant moving from one place to another? You would have not, right? So plants, unlike animals who can move from one place to another, plants are immobile. So they remain at one place. They can be aquatic or land plants. So if, if you look at, when you talk, when we talk about land plants, 
I'm sure a lot of examples come to your mind, right? Because most of trees which we see around us, trees or small plants or grasses, we see most of them on lands. But when you actually try to see or when you try to explore the aquatic plants, you will see that a huge variety of aquatic plants do exist. So deep inside the ocean or the sea water or even in ponds, you can see a lot of plants growing up even inside water. Some of them, some of the plants, you can even see on the surface of water. So they have a wide, a wide variety of plants exist, not only on land, but also on aquatic. Cell walls are present. So talking about the structure of their cell, as I said, when you talk about the cellular structure, they have a cell wall which is present, which is again unlike of the animal cells. So you remember when you know, we studied the lesson on cell in class 9th, I guess, right? So when we just introduced what is a cell, we talked about the cell organelles, the structure of a cell, a plant cell and an animal cell. So the basic difference between a plant cell and an animal cell lies in the presence of a cell wall. So in a plant cell, in addition to the cell membrane, you also have a cell wall which ensures even more protection to the plant cells. So talking about the cellular structure, the plant cells have a cell wall, they have distinct membrane-bound cell organelles and a distinct nucleus. So these are some of the very basic characteristics of organisms which fall under plant kingdom. So when I think of examples, needless to say there are a hell lot of examples of uh, plant kingdom. So starting from the big trees to the huge variety of aquatic plants or the cactus or a coconut tree which you can imagine or the different sizes of trees you can see small herbs or medium sized shrubs or big trees or you talk about grasses so you actually have a huge variety of plants so there is no I mean you have abundant examples if you want to think of for the plant kingdom so with this basic idea about the plant kingdom, we will now see that since we have a huge variety, like whatever characteristics I mentioned in the first slide, they are not enough to have a good knowledge or to have a good understanding of the plant kingdom. So we need to talk more about them. We need to know more details about them. When I say more detail, what do I need to know? What do I want to know? I want to know about uh, their mode of nutrition, uh, their the habitats, where do they live, what kind of uh, environment or what kind of environmental condition actually helps them to survive, what kind of food do they eat, what is their mode of nutrition, uh, how do they reproduce, that is also a very important aspect of living organism. So we, we want to know or we want to study the life cycle of the different types of plants. Now, as you can see on the screen itself, their varieties, I mean, they are really diverse. When you compare a cactus with an aquatic plant, the two are very different from each other. So even though both of them satisfies most of the basic characteristic of a plant, for example, they are immobile, both are maybe autotrophic, both might have a cell wall. So the basic features, all of them, most of them will actually match. But we see that when we actually study more about each of them in more detail, we see that there are a lot of differences between a cactus and an aquatic plant or between a flowering plant and a non-flowering plant. So because of this diversity, so as, as I have mentioned this before also, whenever you have a huge variety of stuffs to be studied, the best way to study them is to classify them. So instead of studying each and every type of plant that exists on this earth, it is better to group them into different categories and then study about each of those categories. So that becomes easier to study and that also becomes easier to know about them. So with this thought, the plant kingdom was further classified. So further class because of the diversity of plants, the further classification or subclassification of plant kingdom was actually a need. Thank you. Please 
visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.